Medication administration in NMCOSCE exam is another headache for some of the candidates appearing. Usually there will be only two or three medication to be administered. But you have to take care of things like known allergies of patient, illegible prescription, and about medication already administered. In some cases, weight of patient will be given which will be less than 50 kgs, in which you cannot give paracetamol. Keeping in mind of all these small things make you pass your NMCOSCE exam. In this video, we will discuss about common medications that are used in NHS hospitals across UK, about their indications and possible side effects, which you have to tell to the patient during your implementation station. Cocodamol. Cocodamol is given for mild to moderate pain. Side effect of cocodamol are abdominal pain, constipation, if overdosed liver damage, and hypothermia. Paracetamol. Paracetamol is given for mild to moderate pain and pyrexia. Side effect for paracetamol is skin reactions and malaise. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is given for pain and inflammation. Side effect for ibuprofen is dizziness and drowsiness. Codeine. Codeine is given for mild to moderate pain. Side effect of codeine is abdominal pain and constipation. Enalapril. Enalapril is given for hypertension. Side effect of enalapril is blurred vision and dyspnea. Digoxin. Digoxin is used as a cardiac glycoside, increases myocardial contraction, reduces conductivity with AV node. Side effect of digoxin is dizziness, blurred vision and arrhythmias. Verapamil. Verapamil is given for angina and hypertension. Side effects for verapamil is headache, dizziness and constipation. Bisoprolol. Bisoprolol is used as an antihypertensive and angina medication. Side effects of bisoprolol are cramps, depression and muscle weakness. Penicillin. Penicillin can be given as co-amoxiclav or amoxicillin as an antibiotic for infection. Side effect for penicillin is fever, diarrhea and anaphylaxis. Glycoside. Glycoside is used as an antidiabetic for type 2 diabetic mellitus. Side effect of glycoside is hyperglycemia. Metformin. Metformin is another antidiabetic with less chance of going in hyperglycemia. Side effect for metformin is abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and taste disturbance. Cyclozyme. Cyclozyme is used as an anti-sickness medication for nausea, vomiting and vertigo. Side effects for cyclozyme are drowsiness and dizziness. Ondenstrang. Ondenstrang is given for nausea and vomiting. Side effect of Ondenstrang is headache, constipation and flushing. Prednisolone. Prednisolone is used for exacerbation of COPD, mild to moderate acute asthma, inflammatory disease. Group is corticosteroids. Side effects of prednisolone are increased blood sugar levels. Vitamin K. Vitamin K is given for patients with major bleeding who are on warfarin. Side effects of vitamin K is anaphylactic reaction. Warfarin. Warfarin is given for prophylaxis of embolization, treatment of venous thrombosis, and pulmonary embolism. Side effects of warfarin is bleeding. Amlodipine. Amlodipine is used as an antihypertensive and for angina prophylaxis. Side effects of amlodipine are abdominal pain, nausea, palpitation, flushing, edema, headache, dizziness, sleep disturbances, fatigue, and shortness of breath. Levothyroxine. Also known as thyroxine sodium given for hypothyroidism. Side effect of levothyroxine is heat intolerance, diarrhea, fever, and flushing. Hydroxycaban. Hydroxycaban is given for pernicious macrocytic anemia as a vitamin B12 supplement. Side effects of hydroxycaban are nausea, rash, fever, hypersensitivity reactions. Sertraline. Sertraline is used as an antidepressant for depression, anxiety, panic disorder. Side effects are nausea, tremors, headaches, dizziness, diarrhea, loss of appetite, anorexia, fatigue, insomnia, mood changes, aggression and sweating. Trimethoprim. Trimethoprim is used as an antibiotic mainly for urinary tract infections. Side effects of trimethoprim are diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, stomach upset, loss of appetite, and headache. Gabapentin. 
Gabapentin is used as an analgesia medication for chronic pain. Side effects of gabapentin is dizziness, headaches, constipation, nausea and vomiting. Diclofenac. Diclofenac is used for pain and inflammation. Side effects of diclofenac are nausea and vomiting, dizziness, headache and pain, constipation, and indigestion. Metoclopramide. Metoclopramide is used as an antiemetic and as an upper GI stimulant. Side effects of metoclopramide are dizziness, headaches, constipation, nausea and drowsiness. Furosemide. Furosemide is used as diuretic and antihypertensive, also known as water tablet. Side effects of furosemide includes headaches, dizziness, constipation, abdominal cramps, nausea and vomiting. Omeprazole. Omeprazole is used as a proton pump inhibitor and as an anti-ulcer medication. Side effects of omeprazole are headache, dizziness, abdominal pain, and constipation. Salbutamol. Salbutamol is used as a bronchodilator. Side effects of salbutamol includes palpitations, tachycardia, chest discomfort, sore throat, dizziness, tremors, nausea and loss of appetite. Ferrous sulfate. Ferrous sulfate is used as an anti-anemic nutritional supplement, iron supplement. Side effects of iron supplements are headache, dizziness, abdominal cramps, constipation, and black stools. Actimal. Actimal is the probiotic supplement given for patients on antibiotics. We know it's difficult to memorize each and every one of these medications, including their usage and side effects. But it will be useful for the OSCE candidate to know the common pitfalls in the implementation station of OSCE. Now, let's discuss the mistakes that can happen in implementing station of OSCE, which can make you fail the station. They are, while giving BP medications, Remember to ask for current blood pressure and heart rate before administering the drug. While giving digoxin, always ask for heart rate before administering the drug. Before you administer paracetamol, don't forget to make sure that weight is above 50 kgs before administering. Also, note for frequency of dose prescribed. Always check stat and PRN medications already administered. Don't give it again if it's not within the frequency times. Always check for legibility of prescriptions. If patient is on oxygen, confirm current saturation with examiner and make sure that it is on and keep it ongoing if less than target saturation. If patient is on four fluids, confirm that patient's cannula site is devoid of redness, inflammation, etc. using VIP score and check. Batch number, expiry date of if fluid before administering. Also check for total running time prescribed. Don't forget to identify patient again before giving first medication. Don't sign before examiner is telling you that patient has swallowed the medication. Don't forget to put the correct code on medications not administered and write the medication name along with reason for not administering at the back of the drug chart. Don't forget to check allergies before administering any medication. There is no problem in giving two BP medications at the same time. If you are unsure about giving any of the medications prescribed, don't give it and verbalize that I will escalate the matter to concerned doctor and will act accordingly. Thanks for watching this video. If you think this video is useful and is worth watching and sharing, please do so with your friends. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe our channel.